my people wonder shall never end. You see, sometimes while I just they sleep, a younger go go they wake up. Hmm. They say Auntie Igbi don't do them again. And this time around, Kabi is might not keep quiet because she have overstepped her boundaries. Seriously. You know that this Ojaja Mo have been her target ever since she enters the palace. And I am sure that Kabi is have started this Ojaja Mo before she got married to her. Even though a lot of uh, information have it that they contributed in one way or the other, they helped Kabi Esi to build that Ojaja Mo. And that is why it looks as if she is choking KBAC with share the Ojaja more, give me my portion. Share the Ojaja more, give me my portion. After all, I contributed. Not knowing that KBAC was writing down every cobble that she contributed in any of his investments, including this Ojaja more. Only recently we heard that KBAC handed her over a check that contains times two or times three of what she have contributed to this Ojaja more and other things that she have contributed to help KBAC. Because she is threatening KBAC every now and then over her contributions. And they say she rejected that check. I don't know. They say she rejected it allegedly. So now uh, KBAC decided to share that on Jajama because uh, a, a wise man is always a wise man. I will know that if anything happens eventually, that something uh, <laughs> that on Jajama will be in a very serious problem. So maybe. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe there was a prophecy or KBAC have seen what might happen if anything happens. You know that nobody knows tomorrow. Yes, nobody knows tomorrow. KBAC decided to give Tadenikawo 50% of that Ojaja mall and gave to Dr. Elizabeth 20%. She, uh, according to the information, he did not give anything to Auntie Ebira. That is because he have settled her. He have given her back her money because it's beginning to look as if he, she is threatening him at every given opportunity. She or Jaja more give me my share. She or Jaja more give, give me my share. So my people, oh, right now, they said she have done her worst. She went to that or Jaja more. I don't know how she did it. They said she find the key to the way house, the entrance, so the main keys that he, that. Uh, when you open it before you enter inside the warehouse, before you enter to where they are packing stuffs and all of that, they say she collected the whole key. And this thing have happened like two, three to four days now. And one thing about that uh, 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 warehouse is that most goods that are there are not KBS's own. According to the information, they said after uh, 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 KBS built this Ojaja mall, it was a very big mall. And he might not be able to provide all the goods or make provision for money that will, that will buy all the goods and everything that is being sold in that Ojaja mall. That is when they said he uh, allowed invest and he allowed uh, manufacturers to be supplying to the Ojaja mall. Most of them they will supply at the end of the week or at the end of the month, depending on their bag on their bargain, they will come and collect their money. You know. So most goods, when you go to different, all this big mall, it's not the owner of the mall that is providing for all of that most times. You know? So, and this Ojaja mall is such a very big one. The only thing they said KBSC did to help all these, uh, poor, uh, well, I say, uh, small entrepreneurs and small manufacturers was to lend them soft loan, you know, such that to enable them to get the goods supply it to the Ojaja Mo. At the end of the month, they will collect their own share and they will pay them for the goods that they supply. You know, that is a way of helping the people. And that is why they said his people love him so much. The people of Ilefe love Kabiesi so, so much. Because, and as much as he's doing all of this investment here and there, they say he is helping a whole lot of people. As in youths are helping him every now and then because of what he is doing. And that is why I said that if there are about five kings or five politicians like Kabiesi in Nigeria, I bet you things will get better in Nigeria. The economy will be better. Because all the soft loan that he lent to them, helping them to know, uh, giving them opportunity of supplying their goods to the Ojaja mall, thereby making their own profit, he is seriously helping them. And that is why a whole lot of them are talking so much good about him. So right now that Madame and Tigbida have gone to lock up the, the warehouse, people's goods are there. 
people's goods are there, and it is when the goods in the mall reduces, they will go to the warehouse and pack some goods that are stored there, of which some of them belongs to people, and they have not paid those people, because it is after making sales, they will pay the people, uh, keep their own gain, and give the owner of the goods his, own, his or her own money. Now, they said for three to four days that she locked up that warehouse. A lot of things have finished in the mall. And there is no how they can get it, even when they have it in the, uh, in the warehouse. So it's because it, it is a very big problem. And according to how, they said she sees the key, insisting that KPAC must give her her own share. Her own share for what? As in... As in, after KBC have settled him with the money, they said that has been the serious problem in that mall right now. And it's not a small thing because they said that the, the keys, uh, you know, uh, the entrance is where they will follow to enter this place. It's not something that you can say, okay, let's go and get a welder to destroy it. Most of them cost fortune. You know that such place, you have to guide it very well to avoid the story that touches the heart. So it's not the ordinary key that you can go and say, okay, they are selling the key, 10000 or 20000 Let's go and destroy them and buy new ones. They say it is not like that. Hey, my people, this life ain't eh, no balance at all. So right now they said they have invited the policemen oh, and they are looking for her. Everywhere is scattered. The people that are supposed to come and collect their money, when they came to the mall, they see that uh, their goods are locked up in the warehouse. You know? People that came to buy one or two things, when they come, it's not as if these people they don't, don't have the goods. But the goods are locked up in the warehouse. People cannot get the goods. The owners of the goods cannot carry their goods. They cannot collect their money. All because of Antigua, my people. See why I said that sometimes, Inyanga, I be trouble go to sleep. Inyanga, go go wake up. If Kabi has to take action now, they will say, eh, Kabi is in why now this and that. But right now we're hearing that Kabi is said that how how her are too much. That she and Auntie Blow Blow, that she you know do again. That marriage is not by force now. When you get married and you're not getting what you want, is it not time you back off? And Kabi is said he no one do again. And they are saying that we must continue it, my people. Marriage not by force. Abi una no de shame. Ah, my you una shame, they shame me. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. So right now they say police are everywhere trying to see if they can force her. But the problem is they did not see her at the moment. <laughs> this life, you know, balance at all. Oh, it's not good to go and gather anti-fested plants oh, because this lizard, lizard must come. And right now, <laughs> lizard full KBSC's palace. <laughs> see, I don't like this thing that is happening to KBSC. KBSC is too good for this, so seriously. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Always remember, they are all alleged information, okay? Don't forget. Please give this video a thumbs up and share my video. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. Bye for now. I love you guys.